shapeless I mean still just a sleek okay. Do any comparison between these two collagen products? They were made in New Zealand, they're from New Zealand, I'm a Kiwi, this just seems like a great idea. <laughs> I've actually been using this one, the Pure Collagen. And this is my second tub. If you haven't seen my review of this one, I'll put the link in the description box below. And now I'm trying the marine one. What's different about these two? They're the same size, but unfortunately this one is more expensive. I've been waiting for it to go on price down so I could get it, and unfortunately I'm at it closest to a new world. So it's not as cheap as I was hoping, but it is better than paying full price and it is cheaper if you're in New Zealand buying it in the supermarket than online, even though online there's free postage. Of course, Pack and Save is the better place to get it. For those of you, my Australian viewers, you can buy this in Coles. And in America, you can just buy it off the website, which I will also link down below. Marine as opposed to bovine. It contains 10 grams of collagen per serving. Is it two teaspoons? So they're both the same, two teaspoons. Put it in water, milk, coffee, or a smoothie, and mix it up well. This one does contain a little bit of vitamin C, 220 milligrams. So that's less than one of my usual supplements. So, eh, eh. Is that what the price difference is about? As with all of them, you need to provide your own teaspoon. Both gluten free. This one is just type 1 collagen. This one is type 1 and type 3. I haven't really noticed the difference with my nails or hair. This one contains 18 servings. This one contains 20 servings. And they're both 200 grams. But ultimately with any of these products you've got to try it out for you. I mean a lot of my friends use collagen. Not this brand because they're not in New Zealand. Still not unflavoured. From memory, the bovine one was more offensive than this. Having it with water, and even though it says unflavoured collagen, neither of them actually are they. So if you're mixing it with anything, honestly anything else, sure it's unflavoured because it just goes in with it. Like with my smoothies, and I didn't even know how to describe it, it's mild. So overall, I don't think it's worth paying the extra unless you particularly wanted to try the fish one. I, I don't think it's worth it. I'd still pay for just the pure collagen. Please consider subscribing as I post new videos every week giving you tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experience. <laughs> these are reviews because I'm a New Zealander and I'm in New Zealand and I want to try these New Zealand products. This is my next one that I'm trying. It is the collagen protein powder. I think I've had two days so far.